You know, we're here with Andrew Folds from Current River. Andrew, congratulations on an election win, of course. Well, best of the season to you. I appreciate yeah. the kind words, and I hope you had some time over the holidays to rest and relax. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There, there's no rest for the wicked, and I must be evil. Uh, we're looking into 2015, mm, yeah. and, and the city has some jobs ahead of it. Budget process starts right away. What do our readers and viewers need to know from Current River? What's what's going to be the focus that you have? Well, uh, you know, we've had a, in the in the last year, if you don't mind, James, we've we've had a lot of action take place in in, in our ward, a lot of road construction, uh, some work in in the parks, uh, and in essence, um, you know, this budget process is going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a challenging one. Uh, but I would say that sort of the, um, the focus is going to be two things in, in this budget is what's going to happen with Boulevard Lake, uh, what's going to happen with the dam, what's going to happen with the, the dredging and uh, the replacement of the infrastructure under there. Last couple of years, unfortunately, we've had to defer work on the dam. And so I'm really looking forward to that work uh, happening this year. We've already got money set aside. Mm -hmm for the dredging. And of course, we wanna be as effective and efficient with people's money as possible. So when you group some of these projects mm -hmm. together, you actually get more work done for yep. less. Um, there's also some uh, some proposed work for, for the North End Rec, oh. uh, which I'm also uh, very excited about. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing those in the budget. Uh, of course, that, that starts in the new year. Uh, we've got a big year ahead uh, mm -hmm. and I'm looking uh, for for more gains for the ward, I'm looking for more gains for the city. Uh, I think that, um, you know, James, we need to uh, build a city that um, uh, gives youth hope and, and, and provides security for yeah. our seniors. And uh, I'm looking forward to continuing that work. Yeah, we're coming off in, in, in many ways, I think the big, the big long-term story for a lot of people in Thunder Bay will be, you know, 11 homicides in 2014. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are fearing our streets being unsafe and, and I, I'll be honest I'm all over them and I don't find I'm not walking the streets in fear but it looks to me like there needs to be some real effort on the issues of addiction and abuse of substances including alcohol in the city that's probably gonna be a focus as well for City Council I think that the next four years if we let some of the good work like our poverty reduction strategy our, um, our uh, diversity uh, strategy, um, our respect campaign, if we are uh, uh, the work from the crime prevention, if we let those go, that would be tr tragic. It would add to the tragedy of the 11 homicides. Uh, James, of course, homicides get a lot of the news play, but you also need to take a look at some of the other stats that are concerning. We have one of the highest domestic violence rates in the country. So we need to get at all these very complex social issues. Some of that work has started, but we can't stop. Um, addictions, alcohol, mm -hmm. employment. Um, and the other thing that I've always felt very, very strongly about James is uh, investing in our youth yeah. and making sure that they have good role models as opposed to bad role models. Making sure that they have positive recreation experience as opposed to nothing to do. Yep. And I believe that the city has a role in those things. And so I wish, I wish there could be one stroke of the pen and we would solve all these problems. But there isn't. And I can tell you, James, that I'm in it to win it from a complex strategic perspective. I will not let that poverty reduction strategy fall into off the wayside. I will not allow... Uh, the work of the Crime Prevention Council, the anti-racism, the respect campaign, I will not forget because I've got the end game in mind and that is a safer, more just community. I was just uh, before Christmas talking with uh, Chief Munius mm. in Lansdowne and, and they've had a suicide in the community and they've had a crisis with suicide in the community. And a few weeks ago we interviewed uh, Darian Theron uh, who was here to do a workshop on suicide and he said the biggest thing you need is that kids and youth need hope and that that hope is is something when you know kids come to Thunder Bay the part-time job the the confidence building tools that they get come from a city that believes that we're inclusive so there's a lot of work to be done um, James you just used a word that I think uh, we shouldn't be ashamed of using more 
Not only do we need to give our youth hope, but we need to give our city hope. We need to inspire our community that it, it's good but can be better. Um, I'm, as you know, James, I'm a high school teacher. And in the particular high school that, that I teach at, we, ha we have a lot of uh, individuals that come from northern communities. We are working hard to make those transitions um, and provide support for those transitions. We can do better, and I think we need to do so as a community. Um, uh, we live in the 21st century. The conversation and the narrative of us and them must end, and it must be we because frankly together we are way stronger united we are strong we are way stronger and united we're going to be able to accomplish we are going to be able to inspire and we will give hope together that's probably maybe the best way to start heading into 2015 Andrew, thank you, and Happy New Year happy to you Happy New family. Year, uh, if, I, if I may. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, uh, or whatever celebration you celebrate uh, in the holiday season. All the best, and, and please have a, a, a fantastic 2015. Thank you.